Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. I've been hearing great things about a young lady named Lucy Thomas. She made quite the splash at The Voice Kids in 2018, and she went on to record multiple albums all before she was even 18. Her performance of Hallelujah in particular has been praised by many patrons and team members, so I'm going to give Lucy a listen. Let's get to it. a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do ya well it goes like this the fourth, the fifth the minor fall and the major lift the baffle king composing hallelujah Okay, yeah, I can see how this voice would be an instant hit, uh, especially in a show like The Voice. She has so much soul immediately in her sound for such a young person. I think she recorded this when she was 16, I want to say. The sound just has so much depth in it, it has a lot of feeling, like it has wisdom in it already. And then on top of that, her little run, she has just a couple of ornamentations in there that are quick but super clean. And then as she went up, the sound gathered really nicely. Lots and lots of things immediately that are great. Okay, I'm going to go back to the beginning because I've only heard this once now and I feel like I need to hear it a few more times to start to wrap my my brain around this instrument. There was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? I love the air in her sound well, there. it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift The baffle king composing hallelujah mm. That's really nice. So in the lower parts, I hear more air coming through the sound. It's a little more flooded with that breathiness. That makes it sound very intimate, immediate. Also, uh, it helps carry that warmth in her sound. And then as she's going up, I hear a little more compression happening in the chords, a little less escapage of the air, which helps with sort of zipping things up and uh, getting a little more direct ping on the sound, if you will. One more time, uh, listen for the change in the air as she goes up the scale. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffle king composing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That was a really lovely jump up there. It sounds like she's got some classical training behind her when she makes that jump up in particular. I'm guessing she's probably done a mixture of contemporary and classical training from her stylization. But I'm, I'm going to listen to more, obviously. Uh, but I have to say, I think that she's basing this version off of the Jeff Buckley version of Hallelujah, uh, originally written by Leonard Cohen, right? But Jeff Buckley made just 
an extraordinary cover of this. I talk a little bit about that in my breakdown of Jeff Buckley on my other channel, The Singing Hole. So if you haven't seen that, that is a fairly new channel. And I do a really thorough breakdown of Jeff Buckley and talk some particularly about his breath control at the end of this, which I'm curious to see what she's going to do at that moment, because it is really, really tough. But this shift up, I think, went into this beautiful, ah, just very delicious part of her voice. So it was really lovely. I'm going to go back a little bit and listen to that one more time. The way she shifts there, it sounds like she's integrated her registers really well already. Meaning that when she shifts up, she's going into a head voice there. It's got a nice floating quality. But honestly, that vocal registration shift is very, it's very slight. For her, it's, it's almost difficult to even notice. I think most people wouldn't know that she'd shifted there, which is one of the reasons I say she's integrated her register as well. I think she's just singing essentially in a rather mixed, maybe maybe still TA dominant area in her voice in that lower part, but she's adjusting the weight of it so well, it's actually hard to tell. Huge compliments on that. Uh, hallelujah. Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you. She tied you to her kitchen chair. She broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips she drew. So she has an incredibly open-throated sound. That's part of what makes it sound so soulful. There's a lot of space that's back here. I hear a lot of relaxation in the sound. But again, this ability to just zip it up uh, that helps keep those chords together and not splat when she starts to go a little higher in that TA dominant sound. Uh, the thing that is shocking to me is the way it just sounds so easy. Like, that isn't easy. Maybe she's definitely got tons of talent. You know, some people have just a ton of talent and they feel a lot of things easier. But what she's doing isn't easy. It's uh, it's really quite good. Oh, I want to go back a little bit. Man, she just sounds so much older than she is. And the moonlight it's also in the way she's opening uh, I think there's a lot of open sound here. So I say open-throated, meaning I hear space back here, kind of in the back of the pharynx there, in the vocal tract um, back in this area. It's open more, but I also hear a lot of opening that's within the mouth cavity as well. It's like she's just really maximizing a lot of that space to create that super, super soulful sound. But at the same time, she's got that focus on the sound that's more here, keeping it poppy instead of going like full opera. To her kitchen chair, she nice broke break your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips, she drew the hallelujah, hallelujah, hmm. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Love the breath control when she's doing that jump up. It's so pretty in her voice. Uh, most of the time I hear people take that last part down. So it's surprising when it goes up. And then the way she's continuing through that entire line 
in one breath and really following through with her phrasing as well. It's pretty. <laughs> I'm curious if the backing vocals are her as well. Not sure. Maybe. I think she's totally capable of that. One more, one more time on that line. It's so pretty. Such good vibrato too. <laughs> okay, okay, I got the shivers, I got the tingles. Uh, <laughs> it's, I was thinking, wow, this has sounded so easy for her to gather the voice as she's going up every time. She must be able to belt wickedly high. You could hear that from the beginning when she first started. You could say, okay, this voice has tons of potential. I feel like it's going to be great, but I haven't gotten there to that point where it's like so incredibly wow yet, but you can hear the potential. Then right here in this section, love the key change, shift it up. The thing that's amazing isn't just the way that she's able to keep her belt so gathered. It's it's condensed. It's um, really well lined. It's not over heavy. She's leaned it out. Like she does all of the things with belting that you should do with belting while still having a fairly open sound, right? It's really, it's very, very nice. But then on top of that, in that last, this last session, right before I paused, she bopped back and forth into head voice in that belt just so fluidly. And it was in the middle of a run. It was very rapid. It was a super quick shift. Let's go back just to that run. And then I'm actually gonna go back to the beginning of this section after that. Yeah, yeah. When she goes up, hallelujah, on the ooh, she flips the head voice, and then she comes back down, and at one point, she switches back into chest voice. Some people will call that a mix because of the way she's leaning out the mechanism, but it's still TA dominant. There's your head. There it is. <laughs> it is so fluid when she shifts back down into her belt. Whoa, whoa, super fluid. Okay, we're gonna go back to the beginning of that verse. I love the way she engaged more body as she started into this higher section. Oh. Here we go, key change. She works on cries really well. All right, I've been thinking all along, what other voices are similar to hers? I think a lot of people are immediately gonna draw an Adele analogy because Adele has so much soul in her voice and has that really, really great belt as well. Uh, I definitely hear some Lauren Daigle in there too, which is pretty awesome. I actually think there's a little more similarity, similarities to Lauren Daigle. Um, I think it'd be really interesting to hear her sing some songs that Adina Menzel has done, because I feel like that high belt probably gets even more gathered and more high in her voice. I'd be really curious to see what the extent of it is. And then, 
Wow. Those are good starters. There's lots of other voices that I keep hearing, like little little shadows of. One more time. <sighs> wow. she's continuing to riff and run over this, right? There's a maturity in her decisions. It, we haven't gone full Whitney Houston here, but there's a leaning towards that. But she's just hanging out in a pocket in her voice that sounds incredible. And she's able to stay in it without having to take any extra press for days and days. Oof. She's wailing. I'm going to go back even further. The breath control in this section is incredible. In addition to the way she's choosing different riffs, choosing when to begin and end her phrases, there's so many great, great bits in here. She lightened up at the end and lightened up that. Uh, it's like, I always feel a little bit hesitant to say mixed register because that means different things to different people depending on what genre of music you've trained in. But she's mixing her voice a lot. So she's bringing in that element of the thinner, lighter head voice and combining that with a thicker chest voice. And the chest voice is the TA dominant, right? Thyroid head voice is the CT cricothyroid part. And so she brings these two in and I hear so much beautiful overlapping between them. That's what I was talking about in this um, integration of registers. It sounds really, really well put together. Technically at this age, that's incredible. That's beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nicely done. I love how that song started us out with the potential of her voice. We could immediately hear this beautiful tone quality, some very wise choices as well, great expression. And then the second half of the song delivered. We got to see that potential bloom and she was on fire. She was just nailing things that are way beyond what she should be capable of at 16. Crazy. Her voice technique is on point. It's going to be very exciting to see where she goes. If you would like to see some more analysis of some holiday songs, I've got a playlist for you over here. And may you fall more in love with music every day.